Okay, Ashley, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. So this is your dot loop checklist for listings. And if you follow this list, we need the MLS input sheets. We need the exclusive right to sell, property disclosure, you've got that in there. Uh, Lead-based paint disclosure, if it was built before 1978, you need a copy of the MLS printout, copy of the tax printout, and you would get that from the county tax records. Just Google whatever county it's in, Google, I think it was Jasper, Jasper County Tax Records. Find the property and put that in. You need a home warranty disclaimer signed by the seller. You need to have the property measured. You either need to measure it or you need to have somebody measure it and put a drawing of the square footage in the file. You need to complete a seller's net sheet. If you're not sure how to do that, you can go on to my YouTube channel, Reggie Murphy, and there's a video on there for seller's net sheet. It will lead you step by step on how to fill that out. <clears throat> you have the KW agency policy and the SC agency disclosure signed by the seller. So you need all of these documents, okay? Let me go back to the file. <clears throat> The contract of sale, the seller hasn't signed that yet. On the exclusive right to sell contract, I just did a quick review on this this morning. You need the tax map number. Again, you'll get that from the county tax record. That's just Google Jasper County Tax Record. The seller needs to initial. This, need, this field here needs to be assigned and the seller needs to initial here, seller needs to initial here, here, and here. We don't have a sales price in here. Hold on a second and let me see if you've got one in here that I thought I saw one that was filled out. Bear with me. Okay, right here, exclusive right to sell contract. Let's review this one. Okay, this is the one that's filled out. You need the PMS number. Seller needs to initial. You need to assign this field and have your seller initial there. The compensation, the owner that's going to pay, this is the full compensation. So I assume they were going to pay 6% full commission there. And then on the second page, we'll put to the buyer's agent 3%. No dollar amount right here. Seller needs to initial here and seller needs to initial here. So you need to assign those fields and have the seller initial that. Property will or will not be entered into multiple listing service. Owner does or not does not agree for a lockbox to be put on the property. You need to fill that out. There is an emissions insurance right here. Our broker does maintain errors and emissions insurance. So you need to complete that correctly. Fill out that information. You need to go back and add the warranty disclaimer and all those other forms that are on the checklist that I pointed out need to be put into the into the listing. You need to fill out all of you need to fill out all of this residential input sheet. All this information has to be completed and the seller has to sign it or initial right here. I'm not sure, but you had 
This was showing that there are two sellers that have to sign off on everything. So make sure if you've got two sellers, make sure that both sellers initial and sign everything. Fill out your public remarks, and your agent remarks, corrections, check all that apply. Seller initial at the bottom of every page. Our list office ID is KWNE01. Put in the property address, check all that apply on this form. And then the seller will initial at the bottom of every page. <laughs> and then they will sign the last page. That's your residential input sheet. You need to get all of that completed and get the seller signature. Uh, KWNE uh, agency policy. That needs to be initialed right here. You need to assign these fields, whether it's a single seller or two sellers. Have the seller sign it, assign these <coughs> signature forms or blocks on the KWNE agency policy. Then the South Carolina Agency Brokerage Relationship. Let's look at that one. Need to assign these for the seller. Get the seller to sign all these documents. <coughs> Home warranty, these are not optional. These are required. I see, I see it says waiting on others, so maybe you've sent them to be signed. Just want to make sure. Home warranty disclaimer. Need to assign those fields and check either they do or don't want home warranty coverage. You can have the agent signature here and the seller signature is here. In fact, you may have sent that already to be signed, but we need to get it signed and get it in the file so the file will be complete. <coughs> okay, the exclusive right to sell, we've already gone over that. Property disclosure appeared to be okay. I looked at that. So just go in here to your dot loop checklist and make sure that you've got all these documents that are listed. Fill out this information here. Make sure that you've got these documents signed. Don't submit them for, to review until everything is signed. And I apologize, I've got a little, little bit of a sore throat this morning. Um, so let's get all those signed, and then you will submit for re submit the file for review once everything is signed. Same thing on the contract of sale. Make sure that the buyer gets a copy of the property disclosure. Make sure the buyer gets a copy of the property disclosure, and they sign that, and it goes in the file. And you're going to have to either measure the house yourself or you're going to have to get an appraiser in that area to measure the house and supply you with a drawing that has to be submitted. So all this has to be submitted and signed before you can uh, be paid out of the closing and make sure that we go ahead and get all this done now because it's very difficult to get it done after closing. Congratulations, we'll work through this. We'll get it, uh, we'll get it all straightened out. That's the, that's the file information and go ahead and, and once you get all this loaded, then I'll review it again and we'll make any corrections needed. Take care.